What's going on? Why is it getting hot in the memoria? You've noticed it too. Like something is burning. Netmarker's activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Until everything burns to ashes! Ready for another? Ken? Going on. Reach the end Why of the story is it in your own way. getting hot in the memoria? You've noticed it too. Like. <laughs> Netmarker's activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Attack! Until it everything burns to ashes! Ready for another? <laughs> Dad? Combat report will be ready soon. These are all charred remains. They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. I suppose we can slow down for now then. This monster was slain by a thermic weapon. They're all just burning remembrances, a stark contrast to this deep sea. Careful. These traces are fresh. Our unsought guest isn't far away. It looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction.
Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that... the remembrance doesn't lie. From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. The method was clean and crisp. All one-strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do? If his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Is that all? Upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme.
This room then? Yes. More precisely, it's right below. Exactly what it means. Down. You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next. We want to create some reasonably small movements. Still remember what I taught you? Feel the flow of the memoria, walk up the wall, and then get close to it. Reach the end of the story in your own way.
reach the end of the story in your own way. Preservation! Reach the end of the story in your own way.
Looks good. Look, a solitary chain. Go say hello to it. Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice, soft landing. Okay, here we go. We landed safely. This is amazing. Don't imitate the Memo Keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well... Wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? Disturb us now. Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? Be too surprised. Is that Firefly? Yes, it's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, We'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. That thing I encountered with my trailblazer friend back then. If I'm not wrong, it has to do with the Watchmaker. She mentioned... your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the Watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. your name thinking of you even in your absence seems like you two were pretty close 
She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. If I can try again... She stares at the screens. Is she looking at herself in the mirror? What does she mean by try again? Let's? Is there someone else? Why did you... This isn't what we agreed on! The situation has changed, and it seems that companion... has deviated from the original plan. Perhaps, judging from the outcome... This is that person's true intention. Mecca. Who forced her to go that way? And... Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal, a tall male in silver armor. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But... why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... There's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Finally, back in the lobby. If that's the case. She thought she had escaped after that. It's the end. 
Everyone, over there. It seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Stellaron Hunters. Careful. Jealousy Ranger. And a memo keeper. Leave now and nobody gets hurt. Or else all of you will die here. The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. Implementation in. Target sighted. All units on alert. Crime detonated. Naughty children, don't listen. Like fire until everything burns to ashes! No. This is more than a bad fight. There's no time to lose. Here is thunder! Yet? Firefly Type 4 intersects the seas of blaze! I will set the seas ablaze. <laughs> Time. Show no mercy. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Score the Earth operations. This is more than a bad fight. To live! <laughs> Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. Hmm. Uh, Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Initiate cleanup. Attack! Follow my charge. Here is thunder! Time for them. Show no mercy. Okay. <laughs> Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. A thousand thanks. <laughs> a thousand thanks. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! <laughs> Initiate cleanup. Lance at the ready. Implementation. There's no time to lose. Here is thunder. Sam in position. I'm fresh. Like fire until everything burns to ashes. 
That's better. Thank you. I would have fight to live. Recalibrating. Set to the sea. Go play. Follow my charge. It's pitiless! Naughty child. Nap time. No. <laughs> no commencing. Gordon, Earth operations! Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thank you. I will. Keep fight, fight! To live! <laughs> Okay. Annihilate one implementation. Hmm. Tough. Show no mercy. I'm on guard. Get. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder. Hmm. A thousand thanks. <clears throat> Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! It's time. Time for a shot. That's better. A thousand thanks. Comrade is pitiless. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Support with like fire until so everything burns to ashes. Hmm. Thank you. I will set to the sea no flame. Generate and deploy implementation. The ready. If that's the case, leave the dance stage to them, my dear. Thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the Ranger and the Hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From that galaxy ranger. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours.
yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. But, oh, there's no but. This is the truth. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Nicely done. As expected. I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. <laughs> In actuality, they were led by this Duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? <laughs> they harbor fierce intentions swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So... My friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Panacone. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Uh, can I really believe a venturing? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. My, my. You look like a small, injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. 
I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him, but this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone, recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather. I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said. I have faith in your potential, and that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. <laughs> Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. But, always be on guard. Particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused. And... sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles in water, disappearing in an instant. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices, it is the right choice. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Go and meet Aventurine, or... I could still choose not to help. Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper... <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends, don't let me down. Please, this way, if you will.
Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? Last time we met was right here. This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer, one you can't refuse. <laughs> no reason to choose otherwise, and no other choices. Back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? <laughs> no, no, this is not good. You're the pride of the family. Don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. Brother... You seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Was it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry. I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone. Striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was someone killed again? Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway, uh, the other... ...was you. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Pretty sharp, aren't you, chicken-winged boy? The Odes of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness, and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. 
The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> There's no need. The Malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze, and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. <laughs>